going on YouTube? This is King Rancher 13. Actually, my real name is Bliss, as a lot of y'all have been asking me as y'all call for orders and things like that. But anyways, we are going to be putting down a little bit of gravel for a carport that I've got coming in next week. So we'll be putting the truck, I think, to the test. Probably gonna take a little dump trailer that I'm gonna rent and load up and make a few runs of gravel and then we'll probably get a skid steer or a tractor or something to spread the gravel out. I don't know if I'll be able to get to everything today, but I at least want to get all the gravel here because there's another hurricane coming. I find out about these hurricanes from uh, customers that are calling in or people from out of state every single time. No one here ever knows about the hurricane coming, I feel like, really until it gets here. So let's get going with this morning. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all are enjoying some of the videos I'm starting to put out. I'm trying to get better with my time management to be able to be able to edit videos more often. It just takes a long time for me to edit videos because I try to do the best job as I can. I don't want to release just something. Um, I don't want to just put something up just half-heartedly. Got the Ranger kind of washed down yesterday. So let's give her a start up. Oh, and a little update. Finally put on my own exhaust, five inch. So here's the startup on it. A little cold start, okay. Got everything hooked up, and now we're ready for our first, I guess, real tow. To be honest, I mean, I've, all I've pulled is a side by side, but nothing like a dump trailer. Probably put about, I don't know, eight, 10,000 pounds of 57 stone gravel on there, and we'll see how she does. exactly what's going on but I, I mean I've been here once or twice but I was just here riding with somebody so here we go trailer sway can't say that I haven't been there before uh, thankfully I live only a few miles down the road so uh, it's no problem going down the highway uh, but yeah the anti trailer sway kicked on and said reduce speed on it and then uh, so the sweet spots going about 45 alrighty I guess uh, so carports gonna be going right about here-ish it's about 20 I think it's 22 foot wide 20 foot long so put it right here but I don't have any filter fabric and debating on whether if I should even put it down or not but here's a load of gravel you can see a lot of weight on the back but let's go ahead and get the controller out
There's the first load. Pretty decent load. Well, I've got to hurry up and get one more load before one o'clock. I've got to go run to take, oh, actually, I forgot to take, tell y'all, I'm taking Josh's truck to get his turbo replaced. So he's got a 2011 to 2012 power stroke and those tend to go bad because of the bearing material on those turbos. And so his turbo's on his way out, so we ordered him a MPD kit, SXC, 63 millimeters uh, non-VGT turbo kit. So it's gonna be sounding pretty good and looking pretty good. Josh, he uses his truck for work for their construction business. Kit's already in, we're gonna be dropping it off later today, so I'll probably shoot a little bit of that. But for now, we're gonna hurry up and make another load or so, if I can. All right, so quick little update. Uh, I was gonna use a skid steer to spread the gravel out right here. And it's kind of starting to mark it out, but I've got some stakes and some markers to be able to mark the corners. So I'm gonna put the filter fabric down and I got Mr. Russ to let me borrow his tractor. So thank you, Mr. Russ. I'm gonna get that going. Hopefully get this done before the end of the day because we got church tonight with the youth uh, at 6.30. So right now it's about I don't even know why I looked at my wrist when I don't even have a watch, but I think it's about, oh, here it is. Well, it's 1.30 right now, so I got four or five hours. So let's see if we can get it done. He's in Mr. Russ's tractor, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up for him because he let me use it. So we're gonna put some red dyed off road fuel in here because it's a tractor. yesterday trying to get wrapped up hurricane starting to come should be here either tonight or tomorrow morning but uh here's how she turned out that's where the carport's gonna go I just put my boat in my trailer there earlier but I am fixing to run to the deer lease and <clears throat> make sure my batteries on my cameras are all good and then uh, just make sure that everything's kind of tied up before all this rain and wind and stuff comes so I don't know, do y'all take down your cameras when big storms come or do y'all just leave them out there? Last time uh, Hurricane Laura came through, I left them out there, they're fine it seemed like. I just want to go out there and make sure everything's buttoned up before this hurricane comes. 